So here it is guys, the infamous mini truck with electric engine. Uh, so I haven't finished it completely, but what I wanted to do first, cause I, I did a lot of work to this and I didn't film a lot of it. Uh, if you check out the Instagram page below, I've got a lot of photos um, of the progression through the build, but unfortunately I didn't record a lot of it. Uh, so today I'm just gonna give you a walk around of what I've actually done and what I've still got left to do. So starting with the exterior, um, basically what we did, the, the whole cab was stripped bare, uh, sanded back to bare metal. Down the front end, it had a little bit of uh, collision damage. The usual rust spots in the bottom of the doors. So all the body work was taken care of, rust spots removed, um, completely 100% rust free now. Ground, pretty much nut and bolt ground up rebuild uh, is happening with this one. Um, so new, new paint, two pack, Tiffany blue, electric blue, you'll call it. Um, the grills here were actually a huge pain. Um, it's cost a fortune actually. They basically had to be remolded and, and rebuilt, um, but they are the original grills. Coming over to the interior, um, once again, same thing. The original dash was completely split in half. Um, so that was pulled out, fixed up. Same with the upholstery, um, reupholstered seats. No hood lining yet. Um, everything from the sun visors to the steering wheel, um, custom machine boss kit, new brake master cylinder, um, custom fabrication for this is the uh, throttle pedal that's gonna control um, the electric motor. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, steering column was pulled out, refurbished. Basically this, there's not one thing on this truck that hasn't been either replaced or pulled out and refurbished. Here's the electric motor. So basically what I did was I used the original transmission and made this adapter plate. So the spigot that comes out of the electric motor um, has a, an adaption that, that I machined. So the um, flywheel can actually bolt to that. So this, this bolts onto the electric motor then it's got that adapter that the flywheel can bolt onto that you can put your clutch onto. And then the original transmission bolts to the adapter plate. So here we're actually using the original transmission um, four speed manual, all the original RCN. It'll be really interesting to see if this just doesn't get shredded um, with the torque and the power that's getting gonna get put through it. But if it does, um, pull it all out, rebuild it, upgrade it. 14 inch rims, big upgrade from the 12 inch. I uh, went from 12 inch 165s uh, to 14 inch 225s uh, with some Toyo semi slicks coming from California soon. Um, yeah, so I'll, this has been three, four, five months through COVID. Uh, doesn't look like a lot, but there's actually a lot that has gone into it. Um, I have to take the dash out again um, to replace all the bulbs in there. But uh, when I do that, I'll show you all the wiring that, that's, that's gone on, obviously being electric motor, electric truck. Um, there's actually a lot of wiring involved. Um, but yeah, she doesn't look like a lot, but this is five months worth of effort so far, and it's not complete. The batteries are on their way. Um, this is the rear tail lights and the rear wiring. Essentially, uh, 20 lithium cells are gonna go above the diff, and then another 24 either side. Um, so it's a total of 88 lithium batteries to run the motor. Um, and that'll add an extra between 250 and 300 kilos uh, on the rear tail shaft and distributed down the front. So it'll actually give it a lot of weight that it's gonna need to help plant those tires down. So that's just a brief run around um, on the mini truck so far. Like I said, um, if you check the Instagram page out, there's a lot more uh, detail of what I actually have done. Uh, a lot of photos of of pre-stripping it down, what it looked like, and the process I've gone through. Um, I'm gonna start to film from now on. So if you are interested, um, hit the subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming weekly. Cheers guys.